The scientific name of southern live oak is Quercus virginiana. The name live oak comes from the fact that the oak remains green throughout the winter when it's dormant, while many other oaks are leafless when they're dormant. Southern live oak is native to southern United States and found from southeast Virginia to Florida, including the Florida Keys and west to southwest to Texas. Southern live oak can grow in moist to dry sites, can withstand occasional floods and hurricanes, and are resistant to salt spray and moderate soil salinity. The leaves are alternate, simple, semi-evergreen, and leathery from two to five inches long. They may be oblong or elliptical in shape with an entire or sometimes spiny and revolute margin. The upper surface is lustrous and waxy while the lower surface is pale and pubescent. These foliar characteristics contribute to the tree's resistance to salt spray which allows the live oak to live on the southern coast and on barrier islands. Most leaf loss occurs immediately preceding flowering and the new spring growth. The flowers are born on catkins in the spring and are followed by small, long, and tapered acorns in clusters of three to five each covered about one-third by a bowl-shaped cap and maturing in the fall of the same year. The bark is somewhat gray and furrowed when it's young and matures into a black patchy bark. Live oak is a large tree and can grow to massive proportions with a large rounded crown that can reach 50 feet in height but may reach widths over 100 feet. The lower limbs can sweep down towards the ground before curving up again. Once established, live oak can grow in moist or dry sites and is excellent for coastal areas or urban settings, and it has a very good wind resistance. Live oak makes a good street tree or park tree, but may become too large for many residential lots. Because this tree can live for a very long time and can become so large, early pruning is important to develop proper trunk and branch structure early in the life of the tree. The Urban Forestry Information Series is brought to you by the Blackwater River Foundation and is supported in part through funds received from a U.S. Forest Service Urban and Community Forestry Program grant. To learn more